this year, 350 colleges and universities in the United States have been talent searching for new presidents, and Ball State University has been one of these. It's with a great deal of pleasure that I introduce Dr. Alexander M. Bracken of Muncie, who is the president of the Ball State University Board of Trustees, and he will make the announcement on the board's selection. Dr. Bracken? Thank you, uh, Ms. Fraser. Um, ladies and gentlemen of the press and radio, I think you'd be interested to uh, know that just a few days, actually, after Ball State became a university in February of 1965, the Board of Trustees met on the campus, and one of the principal points of discussion at that meeting, uh, which quite frankly was done with much regret, but needed to be done, was the question of how we would proceed to select a successor for President Emmons at the time of his retirement uh, at the end of June 1968. Many of you in the news media have carried stories about the procedure that we decided to follow in naming an advisory committee to the Board of Trustees. This committee, uh, chosen from the faculty, from department heads, deans, administrative heads, and alumni. The task of this committee was the screening, uh, interviewing, and recommending to the trustees uh, candidates for the position of president of this university. There were 11 members named to the advisory committee, each one chosen by his respective area. Uh, just a year ago this month, the committee met for the first time with the board. They selected a chairman, Dr. Robert Kinker, who's the dean of graduate programs at the university, and the members of the committee proceeded to conduct a very meticulous and thorough study of candidates for the presidency. Since last September, we have had a number of meetings with the advisory committee. The last one uh, was June 16th, when the board met with the committee and received from them its final report and recommendations. Uh, since that time, in fact, most of this summer, the uh, board has been conducting its own study of these candidates, interviewing them, uh, making visitations to their uh, respective campuses. So in behalf of the Board of Trustees, which as you know is composed of uh, Dr. Kenneth Osborne of uh, uh, Laporte, Mr. Floyd Hines of Connorsville, Ms. Thelma Ballard of Marion, and Mr. Richard Wells, who is the ex officio member uh, because of his office as uh, State Superintendent of Public Instruction, I would like to make this announcement. I'm honored to report to you that Dr. John J. Pruce, Vice President for Administration and Professor of Speech at Western Michigan University, has accepted the board's invitation to become President of Ball State University July 1st, 1968. Dr. Proust comes uh, to us highly recommended by his colleagues at Western Michigan University. He uh, has the respect and admiration of faculty and students alike. He has a very wide experience in the field of higher education at all levels. Dr. Proust has a background in higher education which the board feels will serve him well in his assignment here as president. We feel he is an exceptionally able man, both as a scholar and administrator. President-designate uh, Proust comes to Ball State at a most interesting and challenging period in the university's 50-year history. The board believes that his experience as a professor, as assistant dean in liberal arts and sciences, as administrative assistant to President Miller of Western Michigan, as secretary uh, to that university's board of trustees, and as um, vice president for administration in charge of capital outlay programs, master planning, campus construction, the summer school, and institutional research are all uh, uh, invaluable experiences for him in um, 
assuming the responsibilities which he will have here as president of this university. There's a great deal more that I could say about Dr. Proust. However, you will find the news release detailing considerable information about him uh, in your packets. You might want to look at this, and uh, then I will be glad to answer any questions that you may have. One final comment that I think is of interest to all, that uh, Dr. Proust is the unanimous and enthusiastic choice of each member of the Board of Trustees and of the advisory committee. Now, if there are any questions, I'll, I'll try to uh, answer them for you. If I can't, Dr. Kenker's here and... Uh, <laughs> We spent uh, many hours on it, but we think the hours spent were well spent and we do it again. We think it's the most important assignment we've ever had here at Ball State to select a successor to President Emmons. Well, I think it's the most important assignment that uh, this Board of Trustees has ever had, at least since I've been serving on it. Extremely important. This is certainly correct. Sorry. Where do you want to? Looking up this way? Okay. Well, it's... Uh, I think we've I think we've made an excellent choice. Uh, I'm sure they'll all uh, everyone will like uh, Dr. Proust very much. <laughs>